Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. In this video I will be showing you some Pilates and yoga moves that can really help to strengthen the back muscles and stabilize the pelvis. We're going to get started onto our belly. So for that, first come onto your hands and knees, wrists right under the shoulders, knees under the hip bones. And like I say in almost all my videos, transitioning carefully and correctly is really, really important. So from here, draw the belly in, engage the core muscles, keep the ribs together, draw the shoulders way past your wrists, so pull them forward and now slowly bending into the elbows keep the shoulders away from the ears and with control keeping that core active lower yourself down all the way nice job we're going to start with what we call the swan prep in pilates for that we bring our arms in a w position Keep the neck long, shoulders away from the ears. And this is great for building thoracic mobility. Keep the legs long and you can keep a little distance in between the legs or together. So if your feet are together and if you feel like a little pinching in the lower back, then it might mean that you need a little more space. So feel free to bring in a little more space in between both the legs. Now, as we inhale, we're going to ground down through our forearms, peel the chest off the floor, elongate through the back of the neck, and reach the crown of the head forward. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale as we return down to the floor. Inhale, press into the forearms. Peel the chest off the floor. Think of tucking your shoulder blades down in toward the base of your spine. Away from the ears. Your gaze is forward but down so that there are no wrinkles in the back of your neck. Exhale, lower down. Let's do that two more times and this time we're going to add on a little bit by hovering the arms off the floor. That just adds a little more activation in the back muscles. Inhale, lift the chest. Hover the arms off the floor. Try to pull the shoulders away from the ears. Keep the legs active. Feel that activation in the back muscles. Keep the neck long, free of wrinkles. Exhale. Now let's do that one more time. Inhale, lift. Crown of the head is forward. Shoulders back. Exhale. Nice job. Now from here, we're going to move on to the dot. So for that, the arms come along the body, elongating the legs once again. Feet are again a little apart or together. See what feels comfortable for you. So for this, you want to think of your body as a long line of energy, right from the tips of your toes to the crown of your head. The shoulders are away from the ears. The arms are reaching long by the sides of the body. Inhale, peel the chest off the floor, hover the arms off the floor. Reach the fingertips towards the back of the room. Crown of the head reaches forward, back of the neck is long. Exhale to lower down. Nice, let's do that two more times. Inhale, activating the back muscles. Think of squeezing a box or a block in between the hands. So if I had to show you, I would be squeezing this block in between my hands. That activates the arms a little more. Exhale down. And last time here, inhale, lift. Shoulder blades down, tuck them into your back pockets, shoulders away from the ears, no wrinkles in the back of the neck, and exhale down. Bring the hands under the shoulders, we're going to press back into child's pose just to stretch out our back a little. So hands under the shoulders, keep your el elbows close to you, tuck the toes under. Now draw the belly button in toward the spine. Tuck the ribs in together, so active core. Inhale, exhale, press away from the floor and slide your hips back. You can take an active child's pose with your toes tucked under 
or you can untuck the toes. Whichever you choose, reconnect to your breath and see if you can send your breath into the skin of your back, into all those muscles that have just worked. Notice if you can feel the back ribs expand with your breath in and settle down with your breath out. Good. Come back into tabletop position when you're ready. And for this, make sure that your knees are right under your hip points, your wrist under the shoulders. We're going to do swimming kneeling, which is a modification to swimming in Pilates. We'll be practicing swimming just after this, but if that seems a little too much, this is always something that you can uh, come back to. So this is a modified version of swimming. For, for this, from hands and knees, you want to make sure that first of all, you're not dumping your weight in between the shoulders, press away from the ground, create some space between the shoulders and draw the belly in, draw the ribs in and activate the core. From here, your neck is long, the crown of the head is reaching forward. We're going to slide the right foot away, keeping that activation in the core and slide the left hand away. If this is enough, you stay here. If you want more, see if you can hover the foot and the hand off the floor. Draw the belly in. Full body awareness here. Pressing away from the ground with your right hand. Belly is in, ribs are in, crown of the head forward. Your leg is not reaching high up. You want to keep the heel in line with your hip or slightly lower. Draw the ribs in and slowly come back to tabletop position. We'll do that on the other side. Now get your position right first, ribs in, belly in. Slide the left foot away, right, right hand away. Keep that activation in the core. You can stay here or hover the foot Hover the hand off the floor. Keep the neck long, crown of the head forward, belly in, ribs in. And slowly return to your tabletop position. So as you can see, this is a great exercise to not only work on activating the core, but also stabilizing the back. Okay, from here we're going to lower down. So just the way we came up, nice and carefully shoulders come forward shoulders away from the ears belly is in draw the navel into it the spine and slowly start to bend into the elbows to lower down good so before we do swimming we're going to do what we call swan but we're going to do a modified swan so bring your hands under the shoulders keep the legs super long and we're going to keep our shoulders away from the ears. Press into the ground with your hands as you peel the chest off the floor. Think of lengthening forward rather than upward. And exhale, lower down and simultaneously lift the legs off the floor. Keep the legs long and straight, lift. Inhale, bring the legs back onto the mat as you peel the chest off the floor. Long neck, no wrinkles in the back of the neck. Shoulders down, exhale, lower down, lift the legs. One more time, inhale, shoulder blades down the back, heart forward, neck is long, exhale down. Good, take a moment to wiggle your hips, shake out any tension that might be there, and we'll get ready for swimming now. For this, you're going to bring your arms forward, Keep the neck long, keep the legs long. So we're going to inhale to lift the head, lift the arms and the legs. So we're hovering the arms and the legs off the floor, keeping them really long and straight. Crown of the head reaching forward. So all the back muscles are working here. And exhale down. Good. Inhale, lift. This time, let's start the swimming motion. So from here, you're going to lift the opposite arm and opposite leg just a tad bit higher and switch. 
switch and switch. Keep the arms and the legs long. Watch for your hips swinging from side to side. Try to stabilize the lower back and the pelvis. It's only the limbs moving. Breathe. Think of a tray of drinks on your lower back that you want to keep nice and stable without spilling any of the drinks. Last one. And release. Hands come under the shoulders, tuck the toes under. Feel yourself off the floor and glide your hips toward your heels. Stretch out that back. Send your breath into all those muscles that have done such a great job. Take a couple of breaths here. Guiding your breath into the skin of your back, the muscles of your back. See if you can soften the shoulders and the neck. And then whenever you're ready, gaze forward, walk your hands towards you. And we're going to come back to a seated position. I hope that you liked this quick but very effective uh, back workout. Please let me know how you feel after practicing this. Leave a comment, leave a like if you found it useful. Please share it with your friends, with your family, anybody who could uh, do with a little bit of back exercise. And uh, subscribe to my channel so that you can see the rest of my videos. Thank you. See you again very soon.